Hi guys, welcome back and thanks so much for joining me for today's video which is going to be my October favourites. It actually feels like forever ago that I filmed my September favourites. In fact, I'm not even sure if I did film one. It just feels like so long since I filmed a favourites video. So we have quite a lot to catch up on. I really hope you guys enjoyed Vlogtober. I guess you kind of know what I've been loving throughout the month of Vlogtober because it's probably the things that I talked about in most of my videos. So if you did keep up with my vlogs then chances are none of this will come as a surprise to you. If you didn't catch all my vlogs then I'll leave a Vlogtober playlist down below and you can catch up on what I got up to during the month. It was a really fun and busy month so yeah lots of exciting things going on. Before I get started I would just like to say hello to anybody that might be new to my YouTube channel. If you are then hello, thanks so much for joining us and I'd love it if you would subscribe if you don't want to miss any more videos from me. You'll find tons of fashion, beauty, travel, lifestyle, all that kind of goodness here on my channel so just hit that red button if you don't want to miss anything from me. In November I've got quite a few fun trips trips coming up so I'd love to take you guys along with me at least two videos a week hopefully three or four sometimes even five depending on how many vlogs I get done so yeah it's gonna be a month of lots of exciting things and lots of exciting videos so definitely be sure to be subscribed if you are not already so you don't miss any videos. So I'm going to kick off my October favourites with a few fashion favourites and to be honest none of these are going to come as a surprise to you guys if you follow me on Instagram that is for sure and I mean you guys knew this was going to feature at some point during this video so I might as well get it out of the way. This is my Gucci Dionysus Blooms handbag and I'm sorry about the Instagram spam. Charlie keeps saying to me, Josie you need to like change up your Instagram because you're featuring the bag too much but I'm sorry I just absolutely love it and when I invest in a designer piece I want to get the maximum use out of it that I possibly can so I've been using this as my everyday handbag. Um, how long ago did I get it? Like two or three weeks and it still is in perfect good as new condition so despite the fact that it's been used every single day I just absolutely adore it. You may have actually seen me tweet this, but since I bought this handbag, I'm going to put it down because it's actually fairly heavy, it's got all my stuff in it, the bag has actually gone up by around £200 since I bought it, which I know is really annoying if you guys wanted to invest in it because it's gone up in price, but I think that just shows that it's a really timeless piece, it's a classic and definitely an investment piece in my wardrobe, so I absolutely have no regrets buying this and I did film an unboxing video, so if you'd like to see a little bit more about the bag, some close-ups, some information about the bag and also my first impressions then I'll leave the unboxing video down below and if I can figure out how to do it I'll put like a video clip on the screen but if I'm just waving to myself it means I haven't figured out how to do that bit. <laughs> so yes my lovely Gucci Dionysus is uh, my first and my most favouritest thing throughout this month and let me know if you'd also like to see a what's in my handbag because it is surprising how much I can fit in there so if you'd like to see uh, what's in my handbag or what fits inside the Gucci Dionysus then let me know and I shall do that for you guys. Sticking with the fashion theme to start with, my second monthly favourite of October was this pair of boots and you probably saw these in, I think it was an ASOS unboxing video or definitely ASOS unboxing, that's where they're from, um, but these are actually mango boots and mango is having a really good season at the moment. I've got my eye on a few pieces from their new premium collection so if anyone's tried that collection out then let me know because I'm really interested to see if it is as premium as the price tag. But these boots are a classic black boot with this really lovely circle detail which in in my opinion makes them look a little bit more high-end and I do get a lot of compliments when I wear these. I think they're just a very classic style with this lovely additional design detail. Also for me this heel height is really good. I'd say that's about a four inch heel which gives little people like me the boost that we need but without being too high. So I can wear these all day and not be uncomfortable. So I'd probably say that these are my most worn footwear throughout the month of October and I'll continue to be wearing them throughout the rest of winter. I'm kind of considering investing in a pair of Gucci boots but the ones I really wanted, they're black um, with the little kind of sculpt frill at the front and then the Gucci badge on it, they sold out in the Selfridges and Porter. but I'm kind of thinking about getting them because black boots are another investment piece but yeah, it's a lot of money, but let me know what you guys think. If anybody's got them, then let me know because it is something that I'm seriously considering. Next is a coat, and this one is kind of like a coat slash cape, and it's from Coast. And before a few weeks ago, I never really thought about Coast as somewhere that I love to shop, but then when I saw this cape, I think it was 
part of the Styled by Olivia Palermo collection, I suddenly was like, oh my gosh, they have so many beautiful things in there, and you're going to be seeing a lot more from them on my channels in the coming weeks and months, so yeah, really excited about that. But this cape is just absolutely stunning. I can't quite decide whether this is a cape or a coat. I'll insert a photo of me wearing it right here so you can see what I mean, but basically it has cape fabric over on the arms but then it does have button detail down the middle and you can tie the waist in so because of that it does still give you a really lovely figure a really lovely silhouette because you do draw it in at the waist but I feel that the sleeves with the cape detail just make it look so glamorous when I first tried it on in the fitting room I said I feel like this is a fashion week outfit and I really do feel very fashionable when I wear this and it's so lovely and warm the lining is kind of this silky material so it feels really luxurious on the skin you've got this really nice I know it's just a small detail but this really nice gold chain for hanging it up um, and yeah I've just been really really loving wearing this I think it really elevates an outfit and outerwear is the part of your outfit that you see during autumn and winter so I think it is worth investing in this so I will leave a link to this cape and a link to absolutely everything that I mentioned in this video in the description box down below as always as well as links to what I'm wearing and like yeah you guys know the drill so yeah if you want to shop any of these pieces including this beautiful cape there will be links down below so check out the description box if you would like some more information. My final fashion favourite is actually an accessory favourite and it's my current bracelet selection so I'm going to insert a close-up because you definitely won't be able to see from where you are but basically I have been wearing this little cluster of three bracelets throughout the whole month and I just absolutely adore them. They're all such delicate thin chains I just think they're really lovely and elegant and ladylike just very simple and easy to wear as everyday jewellery but they're also beautiful enough to be worn during the evenings as well. The silver and the gold really skinny chains. They are both from the Tembo collection by All Ray Jewellery and also a collaboration with my friend Kelly from the blog The London Chatter. Basically all the profits from this collection will be going to Four Rangers which is a charity that helps the rangers spend their whole lives protecting elephants against poaching. And you might have seen in a vlog, I'll leave this vlog linked down below because it's so fascinating, but basically if elephants continue to be hunted and killed at the current rate we won't have have any elephants left in the world by 2020 which is just a horrific horrific thought so it's just so fabulous what the girls and guys are doing with this collection to raise awareness but also raise money for such an important charity. These bracelets retail from I think it's around 50-60 pounds but as well as the bracelet you also get the donation so for Christmas I think it's such a lovely idea if you know anybody that loves simple delicate jewellery but also maybe it's the kind of person who's really hard to buy for maybe it's the kind of person that has it all and it's just impossible to get anything that they don't already have something like that because you're giving them a bracelet and also a donation to such a wonderful charity I think that's just the best gift so in case you can't tell I'm getting a little bit het up about this but it's because I know that a lot of my friends and family will be getting a bracelet from the Tembo collection for Christmas because yeah everything about it I just absolutely adore and then this final one which is a slightly thicker chain with a big gold disc with the letter J engraved on it and this pink stone this is from a brand called Merci Mamon and the bracelet that I usually wear on this wrist I don't know where it is at the moment um, is from Merci Mamon it's a brand that I've been wearing for like three or four years and their new collection is just so much more dainty and feminine with the gemstones it's so beautiful so yeah this little cluster has been my wrist favorites for this month my next favorite I guess you could kind of say fashion but it's home fashion and it is this pair of slippers these are from Jules and I mean they've got sausage dogs on them or a sausage dog on them you might have seen again these I unboxed them in a vlog and I had lots of help from Dexter but you guys know me, I love anything with sausage dogs on them and I love slippers because I work from home so I wear slippers all the time and this sausage looks like Dexter, I just think they're so fabulous, they're really really comfortable and yeah, I just had to include these in my October favourites because they're just sausage dog slippers. <laughs> and now finally we're going to move on to beauty and actually this is a very small category this month. Don't really have any particular reason why, I think it's just that only a couple of products really got me excited this month. Firstly is the new skincare range from Darfan. This is the Lumiere Essentiel range from Darfan and it's all about bringing oil into your skincare routine but 
not directly through oil, if that makes sense. So the serum has got essential oils, just really tiny pearls of essential oil suspended within it, and it's also a really lovely hydrating serum. So I think this time of year when it's getting a little bit gross outside and maybe we are potentially losing that glow in our skin, oils are such a great way of putting it back in there. But I know that oils aren't for everyone, personally I love them. Um, but yeah, this ranges for people that want to have the benefits of oils, but don't want to put an oil directly onto their skin. So you've got the serum and also the moisturiser. This moisturiser is kind of more of a gel cream, so even if you have oily combination skin, like myself, you can still use this as your everyday moisturiser. Personally, I absolutely love the finish of this. Somehow it still gives me a beautiful illumination to the skin and a really nice healthy glow, despite the fact that the weather's rubbish and despite the fact that it's also a little bit mattifying, which just makes it a really lovely base for my makeup. So don't have anything negative to say about this range. I kind of knew I would love it. I just, Darfan is one of my all time skincare ranges, skincare brands, and this range is brand new and didn't disappoint. Absolutely love it. Love the packaging, love the fragrance, love that it works. So yeah, this is my main beauty favorite of September. And this second one proves that for me, oh, did I say September? October. <laughs> this second one proves that for me October was all about trying to maintain the glow in my skin because my second beauty favourite is the Luminous Silk Foundation from Giorgio Armani. And I actually had this in my makeup collection for quite a while before I started to use it as my everyday foundation. And since I started to use it as my everyday foundation, I've had so many compliments on my skin. And I do credit that also to the Darfan skincare. I know that foundation is fabulous, but it really is your skincare that helps you to get that beautiful glow as well. But the two together, or the three together, really do just, I just absolutely love the way that my complexion looks when I use this combination. I love the consistency of this. It's enough coverage without being cakey. Um, and I've actually had a few emails from you guys recently asking, what higher end foundations you would recommend. If you do have a slightly higher budget, then I would say this. I just absolutely love it. I still love my Galan Terracotta and I still love my Clarins BB Skin Detox, but at the moment, new to my kind of everyday makeup routine is this one and I'm just totally in love. Now I finally see what all the beauty blogger hype is about. <laughs> my second to last favourite is fairly random and it is these raw cacao and like goji berry almond bite things which I actually made for the first time with Madeline Shaw. I did a video with her, we made some healthy snacks and these are like beautifying healthy chocolate bars. So really really lovely and delicious, I cannot stress how tasty these are. Even Charlie who doesn't really like anything that I make. He has been snacking on these far too regularly for my liking. Um, but yeah, obviously these are not the ones that I made with Madeline because they were long gone. I actually made these a few days ago. They last about two weeks in the fridge, but well, they should do, but they, they never do. So I always eat them before then. But when I do work from home, I like to have healthy snacks lying around because if there were donuts and crisps lying around, I would eat them. So I like to make a batch of these on Sundays or whenever I have a bit of free time. And they're just so lovely to snack on while you're having a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or even at that like four o'clock energy slump time. It's really nice to grab something like this because it contains nuts, it contains berries, so really good for giving you a natural energy boost without having to go down the sugar route. If you want to see how I made these, I will leave the video with Madeline down below and definitely recommend trying it out because they're so easy to make. You literally shove everything in a blender and blend it up, pat it down into a baking tray and then cut it up. It's as easy as that. And they're so tasty and still really good for you as well. So yeah, my beautifying goji berry raw cacao bites are my second to last October favourite. And finally, I don't know if you guys remember, I think I've forgotten to do it in the past two or maybe even three months favourites, but I did start to do my favourite blogger mail of the month and I do remember that you guys seem to really, really like that category, so I'm bringing it back and mostly because I just totally fell in love with this. You may recognize this from my blogger mail haul. I did an unboxing video, and this is the Zoe bag from Zoeverse. This is an absolutely ginormous three section makeup bag or makeup brush bag. And not only did they send me the bag, but also a humongous collection of the rose golden brushes inside it. So not only is this a favorite blogger mail of the month, but also just a favorite product in general. I am so excited to start 
start using this. I'm not going to show you what's inside because I'm actually going to film like a what's in my holiday bag because I'm going away next week. So you'll get to see all the what's inside this and like what kind of products I've chosen and in detail what it looks like inside. But I just had to give this a mention. I'll leave a link down below. Actually, I don't think this comes out until November the 14th, but when that date comes, I'll leave a link down below to where you can shop this because it's so fabulous. I think that if I wasn't so lucky enough to have received it, it would definitely go on my Christmas wish list because it's such a like beauty lovers essential. It's so ginormous, fits all of your makeup products in, even if you don't travel too much, maybe to use as like your everyday makeup bag for keeping at home, obviously not like a handbag version. I just love it. I cannot rave about this enough. I love the rose gold details. I love the size of it. I just love the brushes. You guys know what a huge fan I am of Zoeva brushes, so to have this whole set is just a dream that can't much true. So thank you so much, Zoeva. Still can't actually believe that it's mine. And that is everything. So I really hope you guys enjoyed looking through all these products with me, the things that I've been loving throughout the month of October. And I hope you guys are excited for November. It's getting towards the end of the year. It's nearly Christmas, but for me, November is an extra special month because it's my birthday this month towards the end. And yeah, as I mentioned, I've got a few really fun travels coming coming up so do keep an eye out for vlogs and snapchats and instagrams i'll leave as always all my social information down below and don't forget to subscribe if you are new but anyway i really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching if you enjoyed it then please give it a thumbs up I nearly hit myself in the face then um and let me know in the comments below what you have been loving this month let me know your one or two favorite products you've absolutely loved throughout the month of october so i'd love to know what you guys have been loving as well hope you have a fabulous rest of the day and i will see you very soon bye